our world downloadable village with custom villager houses is coming along beautifully. What is the next profession we are gonna to add to it? Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Abmats, in my Village World series. This is the series where I'm gonna create a custom house for each of the villager professions, plus some professions that don't even exist. Don't tell anybody. And then we're gonna put it all in this one world and I give you the world download, plus the schematics for each of the individual houses. And then you can use them in whichever way you want. It's up to you then, isn't it? The way you can get those, the information is in the Discord. They are available to my Patreon group of Redstone and above, and it would be wonderful to be able to share them with you. Let's crack on with the fifth house. We've already done the farmer and the stonemason and the butcher and the cleric. The next one is the bookworm, the librarian. Now, I think the palette that we're gonna use for this is gonna be relatively woody. So we've got oak and we've got spruce in there. I've got a single dark oak step that I'm gonna see whether or not I can work that in. We've got a few workstations and of course, we've got the lectern. Just looking at the footprint of what we're gonna go here, it's gonna go for a fairly classic five or seven gap with a couple of three gaps, all odd numbers, really important for the design I've got in my head. So let's crack on with that and we'll start to bring in some pillars at the front on these ones. So that, 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 and that, and we're gonna make these six heights. That's two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, whoa, six. Let's do it on these two. That's fantastic. And then these back ones are also gonna be six. And then we got these eight here and we're gonna make these 10 high. Yeah, I said it right, 10. Ten high all on those. And then we're gonna put in cross beams and we're gonna do it across there and also come in across here between all of them. So let's crack on with that. The house looks a little bit like this. This is going to be the front of the house, this area here. You can see we've kind of got two fascias with an indent and a little bit of an outdent at the back as well, just to kind of offset that square shape. We don't want it to look too square because it just wouldn't, wouldn't look right. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our just oak wood in planks and we're gonna create a floor that's gonna come all the way to the edge, but not between. So all the way to the edge like that. We're gonna think about how we're gonna work the between. We may end up pushing it in between as well, but at the moment, we're just going all the way around. There we go. So that's gonna be the internal floor and it is not deliberately looking like a creeper's face. What I am gonna do though, I was thinking as I was going around, how am I gonna bring in these walls? And I don't want to indent them, otherwise it limits the space inside. So we aren't actually gonna come all the way around in between these pillars too, with these planks. That is much better actually. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some stone bricks in this indent. This is gonna be where the entrance is. So I'm just gonna bring stone bricks all the way in with this five wide area. And then we're gonna come out one. And then I think what we'll do is we'll come across there as well. And then what we'll also do is pop them like that to give a bit of a fairly grand looking step inside. That is a pretty decent start. The next thing we're gonna do is sort out the walls and the roof. Now, the idea being the walls we're gonna do in this style and we're gonna use intermittent stripped oak just to make it look a little bit more textured. We'll possibly do a little bit of that in the floor later as well. I've not decided on that quite yet. And then on the roof, what we're gonna get is we're gonna use stone brick stairs as the face like that area. And then in between those, we're gonna use spruce stairs as the actual roof itself. And then we'll have a slightly different shape on the roof of the top. Let's crack on with that.
Now, before I put the roof on, I'm just going to separate this area here, I think. Not on the other sides, but here. And I'm going to do something with this in terms of the entrance. I'm going to make it just a little bit different. Rather than it being a mass of stuff, I'm going to use the old trap door trick. So if I come up here, I think it should be four, I think. That should be right. If I come down here, two, three, and four. And then on this one, one and two. If we flap all of those closed, we should now find we've got a nice separation that is, I don't want that one, that is right on the edge of that and is right on the edge of that. That's perfect. And then we're going to get the door, not that side, full there. I'm so used to doing it from the inside. And that gives us quite a nice, not necessarily gothic looking, but a decent looking front that's got a different texture and doesn't take up too much space, but also isn't just a load of blocks. I like that a very much. I'm also gonna bring in another area here, I think, because I want to put a bit of a dormer on here. So if I grab those like that and create just a standard 12-12 on this one, like this that should hopefully give us the ability to put a dormer on the front of that and break up that long line of roof otherwise it's going to be quite ugly in its size and uh, there'll be just too much straight lineage let's pop that there get that on then maybe make it straight that would be a novel and then that like that okay so we've got some decent roofs that's quite a lot of repetition there but I think we'll be okay and then around the back here what I want to do is I want to create the ability to pop in a fireplace. So we're going to get the fireplace is going to be that size. That is then going to knock out this window because this window will no longer be able to be functional. I get that like that. If we just build this up to the height of the house, what that will allow me to do is just plan the roof around it and that'll be coming out there like that okay I think that's probably let's just go one more just from a planning perspective I'm not going to leave it a column of cobble like that we'll do something more let's get the roof on and then we can see where we go from there Now I was gonna venture inside, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a little bit more on the outside before I do that. I'm gonna give this a little bit more depth now because the one thing it is lacking in right now is depth. It's very boxy and no one loves a box. So let's just pop these on here all the way around. And then what we can do is get them the right way around, man. And we can start to give this just a little bit more dimension because I, I just don't like flat. I just don't like flat. So if I then put that, does this work? I think that could work okay actually. So let's pop those there like that, that over there, that like that, that coming all the way around. And we'll do this on all of these posts just to give ourselves, I mean, it's an extra two lots of depth 
what is the, what this has achieved as a result of these pillars and steps and I think that works rather well that's nice now obviously what we need to do is we need to get some uh, window dressing we need to do something with this side I've got a thought I've got in fact I've got a very very good thought in that I am fairly confident what it is I'm going to do um, but other than that yeah let's get this detailing going because we need to get inside inside is where it's at with the library We've come inside this actually pretty cavernous place. You'll notice that we've still got a few of these gabolins that are not yet filled in. Not to panic, that is deliberate. I know what I'm doing, he says, with his tongue firmly planted in his cheek. First off, we're gonna take out these two and we're gonna pop in campfire there and there. Put some upside down steps and we have got a, a just a nice looking fire there what we could do actually we could put a little grate on that and that keeps that protected i quite like the idea of that i wonder if i can get a splash potion and put a little bit of wood on the side using a campfire i might do that a little bit later but before i do i need to get myself a floor now this floor is a second floor so an upstairs if you will and we're going to be going all the way around here like this right to the edge coming along this edge coming inside here and doing exactly the same thing as we did with the other indent all the way to the edge like that and then come one row all the way around and the same in here and then one row all the way around like this and that gives us a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. And what we need is a gap of three. So we're just going to run another row all the way along here, both ends, and across that end there, all the way along here, and across there. That obviously now gives us our opening into this place. We can get ourselves a spruce trap door and do exactly what we did before. There, there and there and we may or may not even put a door on that I'm not sure yet I might I might leave it as it happens I might leave it we're also going to get ourselves some oak stairs just need to place there there and there then we can put those oak stairs like that these can come out and we can replace those like that we're then just very standardly going to do a backwards and forwards oak stairs like this one decent set of steps there and then we can start to bring in some library 
access. And what I want to do is I want to put bookshelves all the way along here and there and there and there. So it's like we've got bookshelving there. I'm not sure I like that actually. Let's make it like that so as it looks like a proper little alcove going in there. We're going to do the same on this side, exactly the same. This is a little bit wider, so it will probably work actually a little bit better. Come in like that and then all the way along like that. That's fabulous. We'll fill in this bit in a moment, don't worry. We are going to do it. And the same on this side. Brilliant. And what I also want to do is increase this part here just that far out to there because then we can do something with these big old bare walls and what we're going to do is unsurprisingly we're going to put in some library books all the way up to the top and we're actually going to cover up right the way up to there right up to the window so that is a decent sized library and we can then get some iron fencing at the end there just to act as a bit of a protector because the fellow's probably going oh doopy doo oh, and just wandering around and ends up bashing himself over the edge of the stairs and that just won't do at all now what we're going to do is we need to put a basically an arch across here we don't want to close it off so we're going to use an arch and actually I'm going to do it like that two and three and then we'll come across with that as well so we've got a really nice looking arch there do the same on this side and finally over here the same again and that gives us a really nice little area what I might do you know I might actually put some extra books there up to the ceiling because I think that would actually create quite a nice effect yeah i like that very much too that's quite good and then we can also get ourselves some shelves coming across there and on top of the shelves you guessed it even more library books this guy is a bookworm remember he loves his books so we can put shelves in fact let's put shelves all the way along there bring the books right across to there and similarly we can bring all the books right across to there as well and it also acts as a bit of a cover-up for those um, beams etc that we don't necessarily want to be able to see let's bring those across in fact not that level we want to bring it across on this level and put books all the way along but not in the top and I think we can keep that open space just a little bit more I think that we've developed that quite well. All I need to do now is to make it look like a home. And I think we are pretty much sorted out. We've got all the bushing in, we've got the necessary details. We've got a little sitting area there, both on the lower and upper floors. And inside, we've made a really nice living space, I think. Let's pop this in here. We've got a little fireplace with a working area. He's got a book and something to eat, a little kind of sort of a working area again I guess around here you've got a little kitchen I need to avoid the cauldron obviously with any villagers that are coming in here we've got a bookshelf because we've not got enough books and upstairs we have got an extensive library let's get it into our world our librarian's house is now firmly within the village tucked behind there you can see tucked behind this one the cleric's house that we did last time now the schematic for that house as well as the schematics for all of the other houses are in a chat room with a link in the discord for the Aververse. the link is in the description below as well as the world download for this world as it stands right now go and get it it is very very easy and there you have one more house, the librarian's house. I'm really pleased with this one. It's nice and detailed. Looks a bit like a, a public library that's been converted into a house. So I'm really, really pleased. There are currently three librarians sat working inside that house. A couple of clerics in there. All of these houses have already got villagers and we will populate them as we go. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making it. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you 
in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.